What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Reyes. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for uh, tuning in to my channel. Um, but today, I'm not. I'm not gonna do any fishing today, man. It's uh, Saturday, the 22nd, I believe. I don't know. I'm a little hungover, as you can see. I got the shades, my water. I need water. But anyways, um, yeah, today I'm just pretty much gonna just show you on how. Uh, I do my fishing rod setup, or yeah, pretty much how I fish and what I fish for, which is uh, carp, uh, catfish, your little typical sunfish, bluegill, crappie, bass. But I'm not gonna get really too much into trout because I love trout. I love trout fishing. Um, I'm gonna leave that for another video. But uh, yeah, pretty much. For um, I'm gonna start off with carp. Carp are fairly easy and also hard. It depends where you fish, like your location. Like if you're fishing in a, a park lake, like like a couple of my videos that I have. Um, yeah, the those guys are pretty pretty easy, especially in a park lake. What I did was I used uh, size 18. I don't know if you can see that, but a little size 18 owner mosquito hook. And also, oh, to mention, I love fishing ultralight. But also, like I said, it depends where I go fishing. Like, if I know I'm going to a place where it has a lot of vegetation or it's just a lot of structure and yada, 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 then of course I'm going to use heavy line. I don't like pushing more than 8 pound test. I don't know, that's just my preference. I mean, I said, oh man, yo, you gotta fish like 12, 20 pounds. Like, I, I understand that, yes. I mean, but me, like I said, I like fishing ultralight and knowing that I have a big sucker and just knowing the time, yeah, it takes me like 20, 30 minutes, but hey, I kind of work, you gotta work with the fish, you know? But, anyways, like I was saying, back to the carp, I use 18 or a size 18 owner mosquito hook and sometimes I might fly line or I put a small uh, split shot and I mean for example I have this six foot six uh, Californian rod which I purchased at uh, Turner's Outdoors and it comes with the way well, it come with I bought it separately it was a $50 reel Abu Garcia uh, S10 Car oh, Cardinal if you're right S10 Cardinal I mean it does its job I and mean, I'm not gonna go out there and buy a $300 reel which I wish I would but you know time is tough and anyways but yeah like I said I put a little small split shot boom and fly line or not even just leave the belt open and I would either use corn uh, white bread wheat also works as well um, flour tortilla corn tortilla I caught some on a, a, a mealworms, night crawlers, hot dogs even. I mean, they pretty much feed off the bottom. Um, but there are some fishermen out there that fish nothing but carp. That's like their passion. And they go all out with all these dough baits and, you know, homemade and foil. And I, I mean, I've seen videos. I've seen videos out there. But I, to me, like I said, I just keep it simple. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do want to try it. I'm going to try it one time, but I uh, just want to have the time, you know? But, I mean, that's pretty much for carp. That's how I fish for carp. I mean, like I said, I like doing ultralight. And me, I go, I'm going to uh, my local park lakes. I mean, I, I know how it is. I mean, I know the structure pretty much. So, I, it's, I, I'll stick with my two-pound. But um, for, like, sunfish, perch... Or bluegill, crappie, uh, red ears. Is this thing red ears? Yeah. Well, I, I got a bluegill that has some red, so I don't even know. But um, yeah, like those those little guys. Same thing. I'll use size 18, or I'll use maybe up to a size. I want to say like six, six for the decent size ones. But 
Yeah, I mean, those guys are pretty much scavengers. You throw anything into the water, you see them scavenging and all that. But, um, yeah, what I'll use for that, I'll use maybe like little worms, baloney, ham, uh, yeah. Uh, also, you know what? Um, for like the bigger size ones, for a hand size or bigger, I'd use maybe like a 132nd or 164th little lead head and put a little trout magnet or like those power, the power worms for the trout. I'll just cut maybe like half an inch or an inch off the tail, put it right in, slide it, and boom, there you go. I caught them before. Also, those little tube jigs, the little mini jigs, those work too. Um, let me see what else. But yeah, that one. For those fish, oh man, I have a good time with this one. Just like I said, this is my ultralight. All my all my poles are go-to fishing poles. It just depends what I'm fishing for and where. But all in all, I love. I, I mean, after I bought this this rod, dude, I I just want to start a collection. I got this uh, Phoenix Dragonfly, an eight foot ultralight, and this is a fast action. So this thing, man, it's just killer. I caught from a little bluegill to a freaking, I want to say the biggest fish I caught on this was, let me think. Hmm. Matter of fact, it's on my videos that it was at 20 pound plus carp. This is what I caught him on. And uh, yeah, and once I felt that fire on that, boy, oh my God, so much action. Ah. It was beautiful, but um, yeah, like I was saying, I mean, it's it's pretty much preference and and how you want to fish for any type of fish. But I mean, just showing you guys on how I fish my stuff. I mean, you guys are in the area, local. You guys want to meet up, hang out, do some fishing. Let's get it. You know, I like learning new stuff from different people, and you know what they say. I mean, if you don't learn anything new that day, then you had a bad day. I mean, if that makes sense, but hey, who am I to say I am kind of hungover and woozy? But um, as for the car, bluegill, oh, catfish, okay. This is about maybe the heaviest rod that I have. Uh, I, I had this for maybe 12 years already. Like, this was one of my three first fishing poles that I ever had. And my mom's ex-boss, he's pretty much like a millionaire, he's a doctor. And this guy, he goes, he's a fishing guru, I would say. Uh, he goes saltwater, freshwater, he goes to freaking Florida. He goes to flights to Florida to catch marlins. And man, this guy is awesome. But uh, yeah, he pretty much gave me this rod and and, uh, and reel for free. I mean, like I said, it's my mom's boss. I mean, it was cool. But uh, yeah, dude, this... this this I want to say this is like I said 12 years plus and it's a quantum blue runner gold like I said uh, I don't know the value the exact value of it but you know it, it got me through a lot of good fish I got a lot of history with this and it came with a quantum catalyst PTI I mean like I said I caught pretty much a lot of fish on it but myself right now but uh, I was getting too turned up the other day or last night I should say man never again never say never right but, oh well. but like I was saying this thing got me so much stuff but the way I have rigged this up I have a size 4 gamagatsu hook like I said it's preference you can have owner you can have eagle claw uh, you can have pretty much any type you want uh, but I use size 4 and I have that well the leader line is 8 pound test like I said it's, it's fishing for big catfish and I don't know if you guys um, fish for San, uh, at Santa Ana River Lakes or heard that they released uh, a 78 pound blue they call it blue zilla right pretty crazy but I know I don't know if I'll be able to catch it with eight pound test, let alone my main line with six pound. 
that would be some crazy fight, but I highly doubt that. Um, but anyways, like I said, I have a double barrel swivel to connect to my main line with a six pound test. Ugh. Sorry guys, but, and on this one I have two one fourth of an ounce sliding or egg sliding weight. I put two of them. I, I don't have a pretty big one. I do, but anyways, like I said, I didn't have that much of a, a weight on there. So I just did that, you know, it, it got the job done. I caught catfish, you can check on my videos. I caught them, you know, but uh, I have, on this one I have maybe nine to 10 inch leader. You can go longer if you like. I mean, it was, it's, it's all preference, but I know I, when, when I, when I, whatever, cast out, have my bait out there. I do put a little bobber on there, let it sit down, let me know, you know? But yeah, dude, I like this for my catfish. Um, once again, ultralight, I caught a catfish on my ultralight rod. Um, yeah, ultralight is awesome. But, anyways, for catfish bait, catfish bait, man, for catfish, they're crazy. They're, like I said, they're bottom feeders as well. They are scavengers as well. Um, you can catch them off of hot dog, ham, bologna, bacon. I caught a couple on bacon. Um, anything that's infused with garlic, killer. Killer, killer, killer. Garlic. Shrimp with garlic. Shrimp by itself. Marshmallows. Shrimp with marshmallows. Millworms with marshmallows. Uh, night crawlers. I mean... Like I said, anything that's infused with garlic, you'll pretty much catch a cat. Um, mackerel, uh, chicken liver. Now, for those things right there, what you would have to do for a tip is you can use either thread to, once you put the, the bait, chicken liver or mackerel on the hook, just use the thread to tie it down to keep it in place, and boom. Trust me, you can catch a catfish, boom, still have the same bait on there, catch another one, boom, yada, yada, yada. But another tip for that, also you can use uh, women pantyhose, cut a little strip off, and put the chicken liver or mackerel, so be it, wrap it up, and just put the hook through, same thing. Uh, but pretty much for catfish, the stinkier, the better. You just gotta watch out because, man, I know uh, a full day's worth of fishing, a stinky bait, I'm pretty sure your wife, girlfriend, mom, sister, anybody in the house would not want to smell your hands. But, uh, yeah, like I said, for catfish, the stinkier, the better. The stinkier, the better. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, that's, like I said, that's, that's the way I fish for my cats. Um, but catfish. All right, now let's switch on over to bass. Now, I first started off fishing with bass or learning how to fish with bass, but um, to my uncle, he, he's like I said, he, he has like all this stuff, bass. Well, I, he doesn't really go fishing anymore because he has too much stuff on his you know, plate. But, you know, I thank him for showing me. I, fishing is my passion. Um, but for bass, now I have quite a selection. So I don't want to bring everything out and go through every single bait. So I just brought my go-to, or I know that if I use my lures or soft plastics and and skirts, those are the ones that once okay I'm going bass fishing. That's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to scramble through everything. So, like I said, um, for my bass fishing. I would use, mind you, I'd use all my rods, but the main one that I would go to is my Phoenix. It's about a, it is a seven footer. Yeah, it's medium, light, moderate, fast. But um, yeah, I have a six pound test on this one. Like I said, it's, that's pushing for me. 
I mean, I have caught bass on two pound tests as well, my ultralight rod. But my, oh, matter of fact, I got this at a save on tackle. Most of my rods, or pretty much my fishing equipment, uh, I'll get it from Turner's Outdoors, which is in Norwalk. Or uh, I'll go to Bob's Tackle, which is a Norwalk off of uh, Firestone. Uh, Save on Tackle, which is on Telegraph in Santa Fe Springs, because that that's the area that I'm, you know, and I'm in Norwalk. So, or Norwalk, California, not Connecticut. So don't get it twisted. Remember the area code five six two. <laughs> but anyways, uh, my go to honestly. Uh, bait for bass fishing, lures, whatever. Pretty much skirts. I love the skirts, man. And like I said, never fails with me. I I use skirts and I always catch them. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do have spinner baits as well. I have multiple colors. I got well, my favorite is chartreuse because I, I got I got luck on chartreuse more than all my other colors. But I have the whites, you know, the browns, the blacks, and reds. You know, they come all different different patterns, I mean, or the different colors, I should say. And some of them have a double blade, some of them have just one. I mean, I like the small. I want to say this one's about a one. Uh, to be honest, I forgot. But, um, uh, can't think straight. But anyways, like I said, I, I do use spinner baits. Um, I do use some crank baits. Really, mm, uh, like I said, those... When I get to the scene, I don't really go for those, but I do have some, some Impalas and all that, but my skirts, I love, love, love these. Now, my favorite colors, well, it was not my favorite colors, but the colors that I always, always have success with are the darker colors. I mean, yeah, they say, oh, it depends on the, on the, on the season and, and all this and that, the color for the water, for the murky. I understand that but you know you you test the limits I mean you say okay for clear water use brighter colors or for for murky murky water use darker colors okay yeah that's true but with me like I said it's the way I fish I'm just letting you guys know on how I catch my fish I go with darker colors my favorite colors are um, this one they call it pumpkin it has like a, a greenish, like olive greenish with like a little bit of orange and some purplish, you know. And I got, like I said, I have tons of these. I just don't want to bring everything up. But my other color that I like is the brown, the brown. They call it brown crawdad or some BS like that. But this one, well, most of them have rattles. See, so when you're hitting it, it you know, annoys the fish or it gets them riled up and um, but yeah and my other favorite color to use that I always have success with is um, the watermelon the watermelon I wish I would have brought that one up but the watermelon the same thing it's pretty much like pumpkin it just has more green to it. it has a little bit more reddish speckled flakes on it but now with these what I do is I attach something that resembles like a, a you know well, I use a soft plastic something that resembles a uh, a crawdad or so and then I mean you kind of want to try to go with the, the shading or the coloring you don't want to go way too off but I mean for example this one's a uh, a watermelon with all color of hair, crawdad look like. I mean, it, it, it depends on on how long and how how big you kind of want your your trailer. But usually, what I do is try to nip, nip like right there, and boom. It's like like magic, like I said. So tell them, so when you cast it, or you pitch it, wherever you want it, you know, you desire, lands, it's pretty much, 
looks like a crawdad. A crawfish, crayfish, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Hey, doesn't matter. But, yeah, I mean, this is like I said, my go-to. This is my number one bait, lure, whatever you want to call it, for jig, uh, for bass. This is like my go-to. Like, okay, we're going to go bass fishing? I'm going to throw out a skirt. It's just, that's just me. But, like I said, um, as for bass is sort bass is sort of like trout fishing as well except with bigger with bigger plastic bigger lures you know of course i mean unless you go to Santa Ana river lakes and you catch a super trout but i mean that's different i mean you go to any other park lake they're not gonna have no 20 pound plus trout swimming in a you know like a little pond they're not gonna have that so i mean it's kind of the same technique and all that if you want to think about it of course bass is more finesse but uh another one that i actually go to as for a soft plastic is a uh, i want to say it's a rip tail cur rip curl tail i, I can't like i said another but this one also is a uh, i don't think it's a watermelon it's more reddish it's more reddish than your watermelon and it has it's red pretty much the base color is red and it has green and yellow um, speckled flake, speckled flakes. But um, yeah, it's a it's a one it's a one eighth ounce of lead head, and with a, a three odd hook. It's pretty much how I do it. I mean, hit the floor and use jig it away, you know. But you know, you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, this one. And then I also, noble worms actually work best for me too. My favorite color, or the ones that I have the most success with, is like it's like a green with black speckled flakes and a, a, like a lime or light green in the bottom. I caught a lot of good stuff on that. And then another one is another rubber worm, which is uh, I want to say about four, five inches. This straight solid green. I can't remember the name. The same thing, I mean, on this one, since it's shorter, I have it on a, a two odd hook. So, I mean, gets the job done, you know. Uh, sometimes I'll drop shot, I'll drop shot my words, and then I'll have, for example, a robo worm, and I'll even have it on um, wacky rig on a drop shot so boom 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 you know it kind of it uh, imitates a crowd as well um, but other than that like my other plastics that I really enjoy are the ones that resemble crowd as you know crayfish crawfish da -da 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 -da. but yeah man that's for my bass I mean like I said people like to fish differently or they learn how to fish differently that's just uh, I'm just giving you guys a little quick outlook on how I like to fish um, but yeah I mean if you guys are in the area or if you guys want to link up do some fishing I'm not about I'm all about meeting new people like I said I'm, I'm a chill dude or at least I think I'm chill <laughs> but uh, shut up uh, sorry but um, yeah like I said, thank you for tuning in to my watching my video, or let alone to my channel. Go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. Go ahead and comment. I'll respond to you as fast as I can. I mean, like I said, once again, thank you very much, and uh, God bless. Peace.